I'm Mark Hayes. And I'm Mariah Turner. And for Lisa Cooney, this morning's headlines straight ahead. But first, the warm up continues mm -hmm. today. And into the weekend, meteorologist Randy Rico here now. The final Republican presidential debate of this year is just hours away. Tonight, GOP contenders will meet in one of two debates. The first, the so called undercard debate. And a new drunk driving crackdown this morning. The Ohio State Highway Patrol currently participating in a six state blitz, which will end on Sunday. Kentucky and Indiana also joining in on the enforcement. Today, workers in more than 200 cities are are expected to protest the minimum wage ahead of the 2016 election. They'll walk out on their jobs demanding $15 an hour. Taking the third spot in the national polls is another junior senator, Marco Rubio. Rubio has notably been taking the high road when it comes to the battle of words between his Republican opponents. Anybody else who's a Friends fan, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, today we're looking at showers sitting at bay off to our south. We're not going to be getting wet later on this afternoon. We're staying dry. Our temperature is pretty mild to start today. 70 degrees right now in Cincinnati, 67 Mount healthy. So as we start off warmer, we're going to end warmer looking at 89 degrees. Kyla, how are the roads looking? That's what I'm here for. I'm done. I shipped everything yesterday. No way. Done. Oh, you know what? what? <laughs> you can Here's come over deal. and wrap at my house if you want to. <laughs> as for Cincinnati's new professional soccer team, season tickets go on sale this week. They are excited, but they know it's going to take some time to see this pick play off, especially since he tore his ACL in January. On top of that, the Bengals already have veteran tackles Andrew Whitworth and Andre Smith, but for guys like offensive line coach, Coach Paul Alexander of Way was just too good to pass up. Good morning, Lisa. This is really a great program to help out the community. St. Vincent de Paul says they see an uptick in increasing need during the summer months with a lot of kids being out of school and a lot of parents have to decide between paying for groceries or paying rent. So here's how you can help out. You can bring non perishable food items to Great American Ballpark. Topping the list for fans, Mariah. Hey guys, yeah, so you like my hat? Lots of bling, lots of all-star flavor here. We're just outside the ballpark, right around the corner from the block party, and we've been spending some time in the team shop. I talked to them in there. They said that Jersey's obviously the number one seller. And great food. Mariah, good morning. Oh, right oh, now. Look at you. Oh. Look at you. I'm indulging right now, guys. This is so good. We're talking Mets. We're talking brats. McNoll is here with all of this delicious food. We have three generations of the Knoll family sure here, do. actually. We got tons of squealers here. Mary Mom. This is where the party is at. This is Laura, Anna, and Tracy. They were cheering on Joel. He is running his first pig, his fourth marathon. He just ran through. We actually got you guys on video. The first ever all women's flight here in the United States. And what we're seeing right now is the ceremony going on. But Beverly was kind enough to speak with us. Beverly, she was a nurse in the Vietnam War. One of the problems is ice build up in the parking lot such as this iceberg, where some parts, it's almost two inches thick. We are here <laughs> in Cobb Theater. This is one of the family-friendly theaters. Nice reclining seats here, cup holders, absolutely great. Oh. I did not realize how oh, famished I, I felt this, this morning. <laughs> I'm so hungry after reading this. The taste, delicious, <laughs> mwah. Well, more than a half million people are expected to chow down on Fifth Street this Memorial Day weekend. The menu's extensive. <laughs> one thing that is good for you is that Patty LaBelle Walmart pie, but Ooh. you can't find it. And India Jones has been searching. She She's has. been all over Ohio and Kentucky. She's, She's called. Been on a mission. She has called coast to coast. <laughs> Family you fine. Yeah. yeah, you need to eat more. You know, more so, meat on those bones. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, so it's a lot to, to go into Thanksgiving. Okay. I was drums. My older sister was keys and lead vocals, and my other well, sister was go. just eye candy and vocals. Eye candy and vocals. <laughs> she, what do yeah. you play? Eye candy. Eye candy. <laughs>